Let's talk about how to handle a bounce check or NSF check that a customer gave to us. Let's say that we got a notice from our bank that a check from Williamson was returned NSF. Let's pull up the Williamson account and look at this. Let's go to a customer ledger report and let's pull up the Williamson account. Here, our bank told us that check number 4452 was returned NSF and our bank charged us a fee of $30 for this. The first thing we need to do is we need to invoice Williamson for the $30 NSF fee that was charged to us. Let's come here to Tasks and come down to Sales Invoicing. Let's pull up Williamson and let's assign it an invoice number of NSF 101. And let's come down here and charge them $30. And let's change the tax code to 2 for exempt. And let's save this invoice. Normally, we would print that invoice with the description that their check number was returned NSF. And we would send that invoice over to Williamson. At that point, one of two things can happen. They can send us a check for the total amount due, or they can send us a check for the NSF amount of $30 and tell us to redeposit the original check. Let's look at both of these scenarios. Let's first look at the fact that they're going to send us a report. The first thing we need, need to do is come in to the receipt section and pull up the Williams can. Here we need a reference number, NSF 101. Let's delete the discount column because that's not applicable. The first thing we need to do here in order to make the customer balance correct is record a negative receipt for the balance of the check that was returned NSF. Let's go over and look at this. The check was for $220.31. Let's go back to the receipts window and let's put that amount in. Negative 220. 31. And let's save this. Now, if we pull up their account, you'll see the amount that is owed is 250.31. Now, let's say that Mr. Williamson sent us a replacement check for the entire amount. That check number was one two four seven or four five and we can pay this amount. The other scenario is he sent us a amount for just or a check just for the thirty dollars. In that case we'd come here and put in the thirty dollar amount. And we'd save this deposit And now if we pull up the account, we can see that we're still owed this 22031. And he said to redeposit the check. So we look at the check number again, 4452, and we're going to redeposit that check. So let's go back to the receipts window. 4452. And we pay that amount and we save this deposit. And that's how to handle NSF checks.